The Oklahoma City Thunder lose Kevin Durant for the rest of the season. Jeff, they make it official on Friday, announcing that he's going to have surgery on that right foot yet again. The Jones fracture had already been repaired once before, seemed to be healing and progressing. But now, as GM Sam Presti said in the announcement, there were signs of regression. He's going to have to get it worked on yet again. This is obviously very, very bad news for OKC. Russell Westbrook has been carrying this team for a long time, even if they find a way to get into the playoffs. The thing now is that it seems so unlikely that they could give a team like the Warriors a good series in the first round. Serge Ibaka is out another four to six weeks with his knee problem. This team just cannot catch a break. I don't see him overcoming this. How do you see it? Yeah, I'm with you on this one, Sam. Even if Serge Ibaka was in the lineup, it would be difficult for the Thunder, one, to get into the playoffs, and two, have some kind of success against a team like Golden State in the first round. But you add Baca out, you take Kevin Durant out, and even while Westbrook was putting up some fantastic numbers, it wasn't always translating into the kind of victories that Oklahoma City needed. And there's another final wrinkle to this, Sam. They have a first-round draft pick that's scheduled to go to Philadelphia, but it is protected, spots 1 through 18. And maybe Oklahoma City, if they're one of those teams, they don't have to give up the draft pick. And that doesn't mean Oklahoma City is going to alter the way they play or anything like that, but it's something to consider. But when it comes down to it, Sam, it's just been too many injuries for too long this season for Oklahoma City to overcome. And that's why even if they got to the playoffs, they're not going to be the dangerous team that we may have thought they were going to be. No question. And we've seen this for so many years with this group, injuries after injuries. I was with Durant in Oklahoma going into the season, sitting there in front of his house talking about the upcoming season and the fact that he thought this year could finally be the one where they get over the top. Obviously, it does not look like that's going to be the case. The Thunder can't catch a break. 